Hey guys, uh, I wanted to talk to you about something that's, I think it's really important and it's something that fitness can provide for you. Uh, Self-image, you know. Um, being self-confident and feeling good about yourself is, it's so important to being successful, to feeling a sense of well-being and being happy. Uh, it can help you in relationships, it can help you at work, it can help you even just in your own self-worth, just to make you feel better about yourself, help your confidence, help your ability to be successful at things because if you feel good about yourself, you're gonna put more into my into your job, you're gonna work harder, you're going to take more pride in what you do because you're gonna feel like like you are getting paid because you are good at what you do. You're you're getting you know, you're getting opportunities because you're you're a go-getter and, and you're proud of yourself and you're confident. And people like confident people and and people like to feel confident, you know? Nobody likes to feel like like they're down and out and like things aren't going well for them and they're ugly or they're fat or they're they're not pretty or that, you know, they're they're unhealthy or whatever the case may be. Fitness can do so much for that self-image. And it's not just about fitness. It's about having that that self-worth and feeling proud of yourself and feeling like you have something to offer and something to give the world. And you know, fitness is a great way to get yourself into that. If you are, if you're in one of those those moods or one of those points in your life where you're just down and out, you don't feel good about who you, you know, how you look, or you don't feel good about your job, or you don't feel good about your relationships, or, or you know, maybe your marriage isn't going well. Working out can be an outlet. It can be something that you use to improve how you look, how you feel. You know, having good health, it, nobody can deny that that's important, right? And, you know, finding the type of exercise that you can look forward to, something that you get up and, you know, maybe you don't enjoy it every day, uh, but maybe you enjoy the results. Like me, for me, I've always been a results-oriented person. You know, I do what works so that I can get the results I'm after. Uh, fitness, for me, started out because I wanted to get strong for sports. And, of course, I wanted to look good for the girls, right, when I was a teenager and in college. And, uh, you know, I certainly, I still work out to look good. I'm a bodybuilder. That's the whole purpose, right? I want to look a certain way and, and I enjoy looking that way. I enjoy, uh, people looking at me differently because I look that way, but it doesn't have to be about that. You know, it can be about whatever it is that motivates you. If, if it's just about maybe getting outside and going for a walk every day and just letting that stress off, breathing some fresh air, just thinking to yourself, uh, I do that a lot of times. There are times where in the middle of the day, I'm just, I'm in a spot where maybe I'm frustrated or I'm stressed or, or I'm trying to figure out what my next move is. You know, I'm, I've, I'm always one of those people that's, I have to be moving towards something. So if at work or my workouts or whatever it may be, if I'm not shooting towards a goal, I need that. Sometimes I'll just go out and I'll go walk for an hour, hour or two and just think about what it is I want to do. And most of the time I come back with a, a bit of a game plan, you know, and then I'm motivated to, to you know, execute that game plan. So, you know, exercise can be such a positive thing. My wife uses it when, when she's really stressed for set for tests. She, she doesn't like to, to work out like I do. She's not a super, you know, workout buff or anything. Uh, but she found that when she's super stressed for tests, she goes and runs, uh, not even because she likes running, but because it made her feel better because it was a way to get that stress out and that frustration. And so she'd go out and she'd just run as long as she could. And then she'd come back home and, and go on with her day, and it just made her feel better. You know, it was just a, a weight off her chest, you know. And, um, you know, fitness is so different for so many people. There are people that like to go walking. There's people that like to go hiking, that like to climb mountains, that like to swim or golf even, you know. Um, I mean, there, there's people that, that do all sorts of things that, that are, make them healthier, that's exercise. It doesn't have to be the gym. It doesn't have to be a treadmill. It doesn't have to be an elliptical. It doesn't have to be weights. Um, although all those things are great and I could, I could tell you what things are going to get you the most results if that's your focus, but if that's not your focus and you just want to be healthy, there's a lot of activities out there that you can do. And, uh, you know, I can't even begin to tell you how much better being fit and feeling good can make you feel about yourself. You know, um, your clothes fit better. You look better in nice clothes. You look better in, in, you know, crappy clothes too, you know, <laughs> you just... You just feel better about yourself, and that, that self-image and that confidence, it, it, it bleeds into everything else, you know? If you feel better about yourself, you're going to probably be a little bit nicer to other people, or maybe a little more welcoming and feel like other people are going to be more welcoming to you too. And, you know, me as a salesperson, image is very important, not just, not just because I want to look nice and look professional, 
but because there's no denying that you know being uh, not necessarily attractive, but being a you know a well put together, you know nicely dressed, uh, clean shaven, uh, doing your hair, just looking nice and looking professional, it it makes it more attractive to people when they're looking for that that vendor or that customer. And uh, so as a salesman, I mean, that, that's huge. You know, when I was a personal trainer, nobody wants to hire a personal trainer who's out of shape, right? People want to train with somebody who looks how they want to look, not who looks like they do now, you know, not who, not who looks like they don't know what they're doing. You know, you want to portray that image that you feel inside. And that's for me, that's what bodybuilding and weightlifting and, and exercise has always been. It's about portraying what I want people to see. I want them to see how I feel inside. I know inside I'm strong. I'm I've got discipline. I'm hardworking. I'm I'm the kind of person that other people want to be. You know, I want to inspire people, and my outward appearance shows who I am on the inside, and that reflects on to other people, and they see that and they want that too. They gravitate towards that too, because they want to have that same self confidence. They want to be inspired. They want to inspire other people. You know, they want to have pride in themselves. They want to be able to go out there and do something, uh, you know, even if it's something nobody else is interested in. Like, I, none of my friends, maybe one or two, uh, were ever interested in, in extreme, you know, something like bodybuilding or, or something crazy like that, you know, where you're pushing your body to the absolute max. Um, but for me, that was the thing that I wanted to do because it was something, it was off the wall and crazy challenging, but it made me a better person. It's, it's changed my life. Uh, fitness can be quite the miracle, and not just for not just for your self image, but for your health. Obviously, I mean, you know, you can improve your bone density, your strength, your flexibility, your heart health. Your you know, you can decrease the chances of getting heart disease and cancer and depression and Alzheimer's and dementia and all these other things that exercise can help prevent by being healthy. Your body was made to move. It was made to pick things up and put them down and to, to uh, you know, run once in a while or climb things or, or jump around and have fun to dance, right? Have fun. It doesn't have to be a burden to be fit or to be healthy. You know, I choose to do things that are hard because the hard things yield results, which again is what I said I'm after. It's results. But, you know, if, if you love to dance, go out and dance. You know, join dance classes. Go out on the weekends and dance and have fun and live your life and be healthy because you're having fun, which allows you to have more fun because you feel good. Health is, health is so much more than, than abs and, and deltoids. It's, it's just, it's, it's a whole other thing. And, you know, even if I get to a point in my life where I no longer want to be a bodybuilder, no longer want to be strong, you know, as strong as I am or, or as muscular, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop working out because my body needs it. I, I need it to be healthy. I, you know, my job, when I first started with Rain for Rent, I was an installer out in the field, you know, carrying pipe, lugging pipe wrenches, uh, you know, putting fittings together, standing in the freezing cold, uh, watching water levels in frack tanks, monitoring pumps um, for 12, 14, 16 hours at a time sometimes. And being fit is what allowed me to be able to do that and live that lifestyle um, and be able to maintain that type of activity and those type of hours. You know, there was times where, you know, we'd go back after the shift and everyone else would go straight to bed. And I was headed to the grocery store to get healthy food for my next day's meals if I needed to, and to the gym. And I'd go work out for an hour. And so I lost out on two hours of sleep, you know, because I was focused on my health first and, and making sure that I had the type of endurance and the type of energy so that, and eating healthy food and, and being healthy so that I could maintain that level of activity. After six, seven, eight days, those guys were just gassed. They were getting two hours more a day of sleep than I was, and yet I had more energy, I was healthier, and you know, there's no denying that that, that year that I did that, that it took a toll on me. It was really hard. Psychologically, it was hard because I was away from my family. Um, but physically, it was just dra so draining getting, you know, four and a half hours of sleep for sometimes a week or two, two in a row, working nights, and then switching to days the next week and, and all that. It's, it's not healthy, but because I kept fitness and eating healthy important to me and, and made it a priority, it did make it easier. And, 
you know, I, I, I think that that's one of the reasons I was able to, to keep that up. If I wasn't healthy, if I was eating fast food and junk food and, you know, donuts and drinking pop and stuff like the other guys, it's no wonder they're so unhealthy. It's no wonder they're overweight. It's no wonder they feel like dog crap. You know, it's no wonder their relationships started to fail. Um, because if you feel like crap, you're not going to be a fun person to be around. You know, your spouse isn't going to be looking forward to you coming home if you, you're in a bad mood and you're exhausted and you're grouchy and, you know, it, it's hard enough <laughs> as it is. You don't need to make it worse by, by being unhealthy or not feeling good about yourself. So um, make fitness a priority, make eating healthy a priority, and just figure out what it is that, that you enjoy Something that you'll look forward to that's going to get you the type of self-worth and self-image that you're looking for. Because it, it's going to change your life. It really is. And, and it, it's something that I've always wanted to share with people is that joy. You know, even, even though you know, I work out really hard and it doesn't look fun. And most of the time it hurts really bad. And then I'm sore for days. And as one muscle gets unsore, the next one's sore. So it's just a constant <laughs> cycle of pain and agony. Uh, but I like it because it gives me what I want out of it. You know, I, I'm, I'm able to live the life I have. I'm able to be healthy. I'm confident. I feel strong. My work ethic is good. And that has, it's bled into everything that I do, my relationships and my work. I mean, I, I've got a great job and, and I'm not going to say that bodybuilding is why I have a great job, but I wouldn't say that it's not. I mean, all the traits that make me good at bodybuilding make me good at my job. And, and you know, I'm successful and I'm very proud of where I've come. And you know, it all goes back to being an active, healthy person. You know, I learned who I was by becoming fit. That's, that's how I discovered who I was, is through sports and fitness. And I've helped so many people and so many people have touched my life and made me a better person through it. And that's what these videos are about, is I want to reach out and I want to inspire people, help people to feel better about themselves, you know, gain their confidence, be inspired to go out and do something great. Even if it's just to go out and walk every day, you are going to feel a difference because you're working on something healthy for yourself. You're going to feel good. And, you know, and then when you, when you have an event like, like today, I have a funeral, right? Sad day. It's depressing. But man... I look pretty good in this, in this clothes. I'm just saying. <laughs> and, you know, you can feel good about, about how you look. It's okay. You know, you can feel good about your hair and about, about being clean shaven and about the glasses you wear, um, about having good, you know, good healthy teeth, right? Being healthy, it's so important to feeling good about yourself. Don't, don't discount it because I am beautiful. Well, that's great. You can be a beautiful person inside, but unless you portray that on the outside, you don't have to look like Barbie or Ken or some fitness model, but be healthy. Portray what you want people to see or people won't see it until they get to know you. But if you're walking down the street, you can't expect people to look at you and think, oh, that's a really nice person. If you're dressed like a bum, you haven't showered in, in a week and you smell and you're, you know, and you cuss and you treat people like crap, people are not going to look at you and go, oh, I like that person. I want to be their friend, right? That's, <laughs> you, you want to you wanna change your life, start with something that you can control. Fitness, nutrition, and, you know, how you dress, you know, how, you know, your hygiene, all those things. Those are things that you control and only you can control. No one else can do that for you. So start with those things and you will be amazed at how everything else in your life just comes together and it, it all it all comes together and you know god will provide you with opportunities if you're willing to work for it god will surround you with the right people if you have the right attitude and you you push out the negativity and you bring in the positives and you try and surround yourself with people who inspire you and be someone who inspires other people if you learn something pass it on to somebody else and teach somebody else something be a good person and live the life that you want to live because only you can control that. God has set so many things in front of you, but if you don't go out there and do something with it, it's all for nothing. Live the life you want to live.